What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. This is a freaking good one. We're out here in Lanai. I got a full backpack full of meat. My friend Ben Zion's with me. Full week archery hunting, diving. This one's gonna be sick. The Robinette family was incredible. Really freaking took care of us. Got to hunt all over this island. Archery hunt, rifle hunt. Guys, stay tuned. This is gonna be an incredible video. Like this and we'll get started. So Rucker's dad told me it had been raining a bunch so I needed a rain jacket. Now I didn't have one, but Costco had this thing right there. I figure 15 bucks, a can of spray paint, I've got a camouflage rain jacket. What do we think? I think it's basically sick huh? Start it up. Any food like symptoms going on today? Nothing. Man. Right. <laughs> Subscriber here. He's the guy that gave me the little beep beep, made sure I was okay. Yeah, yeah we're definitely doing some diving here. Dang. Yeah, I'm so excited. Some good ground here, man. Yeah? Yeah. I'm excited. Diving, hunting, the whole thing. I've never seen an action here yet. I cannot wait. That's all I really want to do. Oh, you're in for it, man. Yeah. You're in for it. Pump. What's up, man? How are you, man? Yeah, how are you? <laughs> good to I'm see so you. freaking excited. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. See all the dark spots right there? That's a whole herd. Right Holy crap! Yeah. Then, Dude, that was a deer butt. Guys, we just got here. We're cruising around. He's not even gone to the house yet, but he's like, I was like, I've never seen a deer before. And he's like, come, go. we'll drive down this road. We'll see one. And I just saw like a whole herd. I can only see like their butts, <laughs> but still, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a deer. Oh yeah. This is, this you said was company land, but but high end guys. High end guys. Okay. Yeah. So I'll we, show you. We this, gotta go to where the riffraff hunts. This is where the riffraff, where all of us like, <laughs> yeah. us guys hunt. Again. Oh, so excited. <laughs> That when we're coming back, drop me and him off and park right here real fast, and I'll go take him up closer. <laughs> Show Here's our uh, amazing cat sanctuary. Did you? you no, you have a cat sanctuary. This is a cat sanctuary. Yeah, you know. Really Are you serious? There's, there's like 700 and some odd cats. No, there's oh, not. It's open too. Yeah. We can go look. Let's at them. go. Check it out. This is this. Oh, oh my God. It's just full of cats. Tons oh my God, guys, guys. guys. Do you want the window down? I I want to go in. <laughs> I'm serious. Wait, what's the rule? How does this work? I freaking Stop. love cats. Check that out. <laughs> Lanai Cat Sanctuary. Deer everywhere and we drove past Cat Chink Sanctuary and I'm like, bro, we can't drive past a cat sanctuary. <laughs> oh, what is this magical place? This is paradise. <laughs> They're gonna follow you because you have treats. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Guys, what is this paradise? I land. 650 cats. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I literally got off the plane 30 seconds ago. <laughs> this is this is supposed to be a hunting trip. Come here, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are going out for our first freaking hunt now. I We've driven around the island a little bit, and I mean, just going to get my get my license and just do a couple little things, and seeing deer everywhere, it, I, I'm i mind blown, guys. I, I This has been a dream of mine my entire life to get my first deer. Who knows, maybe it's gonna happen right now. We're going with our buddy Seth here. You, we got Seth, we got Riker in the back. I took a couple shots with my bow. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty careful. Like I don't, my number one goal is to not wound something immediately. Like I know I've got four days to hunt here. There's no real rush. So this first day, get out here, take it real easy, try and see how close we can get to some of these animals, see what they look like, get the lay of the land, and just freaking enjoy this this paradise. Seth, you're my guide? Not yet. <laughs> Seth is my guide. He just guided Remy Warren, literally like, like Two couple days ago. Days ago a couple yeah. days ago. I don't know how I lucked into this, but I, I'm beyond stoked. Lanai is this teeny tiny island off the coast of Maui. And what is special about it is it has axis deer. And the axis deer is an invasive species. They brought it in here. 
end, these guys' dad, Matt, actually goes out here on the company land and eradicates them. So they're, it's an animal that they're trying to kind of manage the population of. So we're gonna see a, a ton of them, a ton of them. We just gotta cross our fingers that there's some still on the bottom and we can just get right above them. I just hope that we don't walk on something right here. I've done it before. Too many times. Well guys, that was pretty freaking cool for our first stock. Got within 15 yards of like three deer. We thought there were only one or two. One small one, we had a shot at him. But we were waiting to look, waiting for the bigger one. And I moved when we should have waited. And, uh, and they all busted out of there. I guarantee that is not the first, that is not the last time that that is gonna happen. Holy frick, dude, that was a full curl ram. What happened, man? Frickin' hit a full <laughs> curl ram. 54 yards and nicked him, bro. Nicked was, him. I got that on video, too. Yeah? Yeah, I was about to shoot one at 72 that was even bigger. Clearly, there are a lot of animals here. We, we got back in the car, we're moving to another spot, we're gonna see what else we can find. This is definitely the best hunting system method I've ever done in my life. I mean, we jump in the car, we'll drive around, we'll look at some different spots. It's like, ah, oh, maybe over here, maybe over there. Deer, mouflon, whatever. This is a freaking sick way to hunt. Oh, that's the first one I've ever seen. That is what we're looking for right there. All right guys, fully tucked in my hammock, exhausted. Saw so many deer today, but didn't make it happen. 
Tomorrow is another day. This is only day one. We'll see you guys in the morning. We woke up here for day two. I missed the boat apparently, but Seth ran out. What, you like like sunrise? Um, I went out, but then. <laughs> you went out, the, he, so he left like six o'clock, snuck past me, already has his first deer. We went to the airport, picked up Ben. Check this thing out. That's what we're looking for right there. Nicely freaking done, man. Thank you. How big is that thing? It is 28 by 27 and 27 wide. 28, 27? Yeah. Man, rifle, how far? I think the first shot was at 250. 250, okay. Yeah, I kicked them up, so I had to get set up real quick, and there was too many deer to pick from. Too many deer to pick from? They were just everywhere. Wow. All right, guys, so we've been hunting all morning with Matt, but now he just sent me and Ben off on our own. We're gonna go see if we can make this happen. How many stocks have we had? You've had at least three or four. I, I've had three or four today. Three, four, five yesterday. All I hear is his barking deer. Roar, roar, roar. Gone. We're checking new zone. I'm exhausted, I'm bleeding. It might be Ben's turn now. Long, hard day of hunting, but now we're out. Sunset, afternoon, nice and overcast. This is gonna be it, guys. I'm kind of, I'm kind of really disappointed that that last hike didn't work out because it, it's called Cat Sanctuary, and I really thought that that was where I was gonna get my first deer, but it wasn't meant to be, and it's gonna happen right now. Going to Rifle Unit Nine, C. Rifle Unit C, and we can hunt in there with the archery as well. Yeah. Yeah. I really just want to go back to the cat sanctuary, guys. <laughs> There's a couple of them and they're both bucks. We're gonna go, you see that tin shed over there? Yeah. That gulch comes down right down in there. Okay. There's two bucks right on that side hill of that gulch. Oh shit. So let's drive out there. You guys could probably just go right down that finger gulch and come right up on them and keep the wind in your favor. Okay. Get a shot right at there, right from underneath them. Same. I know this is supposed to be hard, but holy I have been chasing deer around now for two days, and maybe that's the problem, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong, but you know, when this whole thing started, and I was talking to the guys, and I was like, you mean for $100, I can just hunt deer, like wherever I want, and go run around, sleep in your backyard? And I kept asking, I'm like, what's the catch? What do you want me to do, like, what, what's the deal? And the whole time, the only catch was that these deer do not want to be killed. I have seen now, like, I don't know, a thousand deer all over the place. I haven't been close enough in two days to even draw back. I did lose an arrow, but that's because it fell out of my quiver. My legs are tired. I'm scratched up to hell. I probably should have worn my yoga pants. I don't know. I don't know guys, end of day two, tomorrow, we gotta try something different because running after him shooting arrows is just not working. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna try something new today. Riker here has been seeing a lot of deer in this stand. 
So early morning, he's gonna put me up there. Everything else I've been doing hasn't been working. So we're gonna see if this works out. We gotta be kind of walk, quiet walking in. Or we're just gonna bust everything out. Usually this morning, they're usually crossing the road from the cold job. So, green light catch up. the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up well guys another fail i saw one doe right away that came through but didn't walk through any of my lanes, just kind of popped up behind me, kind of chilled for a minute, and then dipped out. I saw one baby that was real freaking cute. It came by the water tank, but didn't, didn't even stick around. Not even the baby I had a shot at. Seth just dropped us off in an area. It looks a lot like what we've done. <laughs> looks a lot like a lot of these areas that the deer are just a lot smarter than me. You know, I always tell Sam when the, she can't get too close to the fish, I was like, Sam, you gotta be smarter than the fish. I'm not smarter than these, than these fish, than these deer. <laughs> Last session before I quit. And I become a rifle hunter for the rest of my life. We know what they sound like for sure, and we know what their ass looks like, so yeah. <laughs> we don't know what they taste like yet. <laughs> All right, we will go again. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right guys, final morning. Just got dropped off by Matt, me and Ben. Going down the gulch. I'm gonna give this one last shot, this archery thing. And then it's time to take out the bang stick, bring home some meat for the freezer. All right guys, we interrupt this animal scaring video to give you the RMX hunting tip of the day. Now, if you should find yourself on a, a dream hunting trip, but forgot your lucky yoga pants, you can recreate many of the same effects with a double pair of tube socks. Simply cut off the toes on one pair of socks, slide them all the way up your knees, put your second pair of socks on, and you get a lot of the same effect. Now back to our regularly scheduled animal scaring. All right guys, on the move again. Ready to go bust some more deers? That all me and Ben do. All right, guys. So Ben is going out on his final deer busting mission. Ben, good luck out there. Yeah, brother. This is going to be your first all alone. Nobody out to bother you. Just by myself. 
Guys, I bet, I bet he gets a deer. He's got, he's got me not dragging him around with my freaking double layer socks on, all my ghetto shit. He's got it. He's got it. I got faith in you, Ben. Nice fat doe. Fat doe? Yeah, nice fat doe. I'm gonna poke something with horns. You gonna poke something with horns? You know that. All right. <laughs> you, you, brother. I, on the other hand, have completely quit. I'm going to take the bang stick, shoot some lead arrows, do that whole thing. Did you see him right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so we got some juvenile bucks sitting out here. Got the rifle going. So how far are you saying that shot is? It's 325 yards. 325 yards. Wow, can you hit that? I mean, right there. Up there. Up there. Right there. Yeah, right there. Right there. Up on top. Up on top. See it? So I was kind of thinking there was no rush there, and then all of a sudden, they disappeared. <laughs> That's the thing. I was yeah. like, where are they going to go? It doesn't take them long to disappear on that stuff. Wow. Shoot another one. Nice, oh, right. babe. Put another one in. Just keep the gun on him. Down. Oh, okay. Go ahead and turn the safety back on on the gun. He's down. He's down, buddy. He's down. <laughs> Ryan just shot a nice buck and a doe. Here's his word. What you gotta see to the camera? Buddy? Guys, that was sick. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> thank, you, bad, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Shooting. Riker, thanks so much, man. You're the freaking man. Buck down. Buck down. Stoked. Heck yeah, buddy. Check this out. Woo. Look at these spots. So freaking cool. Come out here to paradise. Get taken care of by the whole Robinette family. Just really got to see this whole entire island. Hunt all over it. Hunt three archery units and then end it just like this. We're gonna pack these guys out, break them down, take them back home. We're gonna see what Sam's got for my first to ever access here. All right guys, so we brought home like 80 pounds of axis deer from Lanai. I shot a pig the day I came back. We went in the ocean, we have a ton of fish. What does Sam want me to get to barbecue today? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. All the meat in the world, all she wants is hot dogs. Got those beautiful axis back straps. Came over here to my buddy Kiyoki's birthday party and we're just gonna grill them up. We marinated them in a really simple teriyaki sauce. Chilling here, pine trees, Sunday morning. This is what Hawaii is all about. It's Saturday. Saturday morning, Sunday morning, it's the same. You don't have a job, Sam, it's the same. Oh my god. Perfect, look at that. This looks freaking incredible. This is why I started hunting right here. Axis deer here on the beach in Hawaii. So even though one fell in the sand, I remember my first barbecue right? We're still gonna feed it to probably Brittany. It hopefully looks better than our last ones. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably didn't see that, but they were not great. No. No, we did it again. No. Oh. There she is. That's a Look at that. Yeah. Try yeah. it. That's not bad. That's not bad. That looks good. That looks good. Oh. Jump in there. Get in there. Uh huh? No. God, you're right. Different flavor. Yeah. So good. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
That one looks like a good bite. I mean, as always, the flavor is amazing. I love, I actually really like it in the teriyaki. Um, yeah. I'm a little sad that it's overcooked yet again. We will get this right one day. <laughs> Guys, it's a little bit overcooked there, but still absolutely fantastic. Incredible trip there to Lanai. It was such a blessing to get over there, finally get my first deer, and able to take all that meat back here to this island to share with all our friends here. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Meyer's Expeditions.